I don't really want to be doing this. I don't know how well this will show up, but this is a progressive linkage. All right, so here I got my Holly Sniper EFI program opened on my computer. What's going on, guys? Welcome to Moonbill Garage. What do you say we do some tuning to the Holly Sniper EFI? This should be fun. It's cold, windy, and I don't really want to be doing this, but it needs to happen. Let's get it outside. All right, so hopefully you guys can hear me all right. Um, I won't know until I go to edit this. So the couple of issues that I'm dealing with, the first is a low vacuum. Let me show you. So here's my vacuum at idle, about 14, 15 ish. I went and I took off all the vacuum lines. So I don't have any vacuum lines going to like the brake booster or the uh, PCV valve or anything like that. I just have one vacuum line coming off the back of the, of the manifold going to the gauge. I wanted to eliminate all the vacuum. I want to make sure there was no, no leaks in any of my lines or anything like that. I don't have any vacuum leaks. I've sprayed around the area with uh, brake cleaner. No vacuum leaks. So I don't know what's causing the low vacuum. It was higher when I was running on a carburetor. But when, ever since installing the Sniper, my vacuum has gone down. Then you guys know why. Leave a comment because I really want to know why my vacuum is so low. When I had it at about 18 or so with a carburetor. I don't know. I've, my IAC is perfect. My TPS is good. Everything seems to be adjusted right. I don't know. I've even had to bump my idle up, or not my idle, my timing. I've had to bump my timing up to get good vacuum. Um, or good, as good as it is. Uh, I may try be bumping up my idle speed. I'm sitting about 850 right now. I may try going to like 950 and then play with the timing some more, but we'll, we'll do that in a little bit. The rich fuel condition, even though the AFR at idle is showing between 13 and 14, because I put that progressive linkage in, I don't know how well this will show up, but this is a progressive linkage. Normally with the sniper, all four blades, your primaries and secondaries, open together. With this progressive linkage, now my primaries will open before the secondaries. And I did a video of that I'll link to up here. Um, it really makes drivability a lot better. Uh, it makes the pedal not so heavy and the throttle body um, a little, I don't want to say less responsive, but less touchy. Um, I really like having that progressive linkage in there. But because of that, I think I need to adjust my acceleration fuel enrichment table or something like that. Yeah, it's the acceleration enrichment table. So I'm going to shut this down. I'm going to take the uh, SIM card out of the hand controller and we'll go up to the computer and we'll make it the adjustments to the acceleration enrichment table and see how that does. All right, so here I got my Holly Sniper EFI program opened on my computer. So I'm gonna to go to open config file. Now I already downloaded, this was my config that was running on the truck the other day. You can see I dated this 31 January, 2023. And then I did already make a change to this, which is this file here where I changed the cam type. And I'll explain that in just a second. So this is the one I'm gonna be working with. This is the one that is actually loaded into the ECU right now. So I'm gonna make some other changes to this. I'll save it as something different and then this will get uploaded or the new one will get uploaded to the ECU. But I want to work with the one that I is currently in the truck right now. So I'm going to open that up, go to the EFI settings. So originally when I installed my Sniper EFI, I had my cam type here selected to street strip. And then, so with all the research I've been doing, I'm right now I'm chasing a low vacuum um, and a rich fuel situation. So everything that I'm working against right now, started doing some research and a lot of people are saying, unless you have like a really souped up cam, just leave this as stock. So that's what I did. I changed this back to stock and then this is what's currently loaded in the truck right now. Here you can see my, you know, engine displacement, 417 cubic inches, eight cylinder under EFI parameters. So with that progressive linkage that I installed in a past video, my primaries or my secondaries begin to open when my throttle position switch is at 37%. So that's this number right here. So we've got to remember that number because what I want to do now to maybe help with my rich fuel situation, I'm going to come up here to fuel. And then under the fuel menu, I'll be playing with the, with the base fuel graph here later. 
at some point. Um, but for now, the only thing I want to change is under the acceleration enrichment. Um, I really only want to make like minimal changes every time. I don't want to make a whole bunch of changes and then find that you know some things work, some things didn't, and not know what parameter did what. So I'm only going to make this one change. I'm going to go to the AE correction table here. So this is the acceleration enrichment correction table, and that's based on your throttle position sensor. Now, I did download a graph from EFI Systems Pro, and they're the ones I got the progressive linkage from. So they make a suggestion that you change this acceleration enrichment table based on when you're, sec because of that progressive linkage, based on when your secondaries begin to open in relation to the throttle position sensor. Like right now, since this is based on all four blades opening at the same time. So as you, you know, begin to throttle, your blades open, even on a stock setup, even at 13 or 20 percent, you're dumping all this fuel in there. So because now my secondaries aren't opening until 37 percent, which is right here, I want to reduce these numbers to the left side to this side of the graph. So they give some values on their chart. Like I said, their, their website is over at uh, EFI Systems Pro. You can go over there and check this out. This graph that I'm using uh, is on their website. So I'm gonna go up here, I'm gonna start making some of these changes. So this is like uh, 175 and you'll see, oops, why, why am I pointing? You can't see what I'm pointing at. You'll see that first triangle drops down there. Um, so now I'm just going to go ahead and continue this, 166.6. Now I don't know if I'm really explaining this all that well. I don't even really, I'm, I'm learning all this. So as I'm learning, you're learning. So hopefully this makes sense. If not, there are plenty of other videos out there that can explain this better. Like people that actually know what the hell they're doing. I'm just following others' examples right now. 150... And I want to go to 141.6. So at this point right here, this 33%, my secondaries aren't open yet, but they're going to be opening at 37. So I think I want to leave this where it is. So as it gets close to that point, it'll start adding some more gas. So I think I want to leave that. And then I think I want to ramp. Actually, I think I'm going to go ahead and ramp this one up to the 191.6 that they recommend. Because their graph actually has their secondaries opening at 47. Uh, just based on the example they have. I know mine opens at 37 instead of 47. So, which I think is a little bit better because I noticed driving around, just cruising down the highway, I'm hanging out between 20 and 30. This way, I don't have to get all the way to halfway open for my secondaries to for my secondaries to open and then start adding more fuel. Mine will be a little bit touchier at, not to say touchier, mine will be a little more responsive down a little bit lower. So I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna adjust these now up. So the 191 and then 166.7. And like I said, and if this falls on its face or if it you know gets into a real rich condition. I, I can go back and change this. So it's really not that critical. Um, we're going to leave it just like that. So right here, there's a, it's a little, not really linear right here. There's a little bit of a joggle, but at this point, forward is the same as what they had. And I noticed up high, it seems to run fine. I don't seem to run into any fuel conditions when I'm in the gas, when I'm in the throttle. So my my concerns are down at this end here. So that's why I'm really just concentrating on this area of this graph. So with this change, I can now come up here to file, save config as, because I don't want to overwrite this one, the one I'm currently working with. I want to change this. So I'm going to change the stock cam and what should I call this? The Excel enrich table. And I'm going to date this today's date which is actually Sunday, uh, February 5th. So 5 February 2023. So now that I have that saved, I can take that file, which I have right there. I can open up 
my drive, my SD card that goes into the uh, Sniper EFI handheld. I don't where they go. I forget where it goes. There's a move. So this, I believe this was like the original. I think this was when I changed the, uh, the throttle position for the progressive linkage. This is the one I uploaded the other day when I changed the stock, the cam back to stock. And now I can just take this one, put a copy of it there. And now I can go back out to the truck and take this SD card, put it back in my handheld and load this into the ECU on the Sniper EFI. All right, I got the SIM card back into the hand controller. So let's go ahead and turn the, turn the truck on. We get the sniper booting up. All right, now that everything's booted up, I can go back in, go to home, go to file, uh, global configs, and here's that D100 change the stock cam and acceleration enrichment folder or file that I saved. Whoops. So I want to upload that to the ECU. Okay. Oop, come on. All right, that's done. So you turn off the ignition for four seconds for that to take effect. And somebody's trash can is blowing down the road. Probably mine. Let me go check. Be right back. Yeah, that was uh, one of my trash cans blowing down the road. As you can see, let's see if I can get a good shot of the trees here. I'm sure you can probably hear it. But yeah, it's, uh, it's really windy here today. So that's why the truck is only partially out of the garage. Uh, but let's get back to this. All right, so I got that new file pushed to the ECU. Turn the truck back on. All right, go to monitor. I want to get my, I have a gauge set up just for doing this. Dash one, so I have my, my IAC, my RPM, my AFR, TPS position, pretty much all I need right now. Idle should come down to about 850 or so. IAX coming down. All right. All right, so I got that, that uh, acceleration enrichment file loaded. And what that did now is, I wish I could really show it, but I can't really get a good view. They're sitting here at idle below that 37% now, there's no fuel being injected into what would be the secondaries. So it seems to help. It's idling really well. I bumped the idle up to 900. My timing at idle is about 22. So it's kind of high, but that seems to be what the engine wants. I mean, at 22, I'm sitting at about 14 inches of vacuum and it doesn't fall on its face when you come off the gas. If I dial the, the timing back, it runs okay, but when you come off the gas back to idle, it wants to fall on its face and you kind of stumble, go really lean. Um, so I think 22 is what this engine seems to want. Uh, what else? I've, another vacuum, another vacuum. There's still an exhaust leak on the passenger side, it sounds like. Probably got to tighten up some of the, some of the clamps, or maybe at the uh, collector on the header. That's the word. Um, but other than that, she's running really well. So I think what I want to do now is I want to download this current file onto the SD card, take that back to the computer, and smooth out or transfer the uh, learned fuel table to the base fuel table. And we'll see what that does. That might might help a little bit too. Um, so I'm going to go do that right now. All right, so here I am back on the computer. Got the Holly Sniper EFI program open. I'm going to go to open config file. And I've already transferred this, the file I just downloaded from the Sniper. I've already uploaded it onto the computer. So I'm going to open this up. Once I'm in here, I'm going to go up to fuel. So here's the base fuel. And then I go over here to the learn table. So this is what has been recorded by the Sniper, how it's made adjustments since driving. So I'm going to transfer this over now to the new base. So ask me if you want to smooth it. Say yes. So now you go to base fuel. And now you can see it's been changed. So I'll save this. 
and then I will load this back onto the ECU in the truck. So I've got everything put back together. It's running really well. Idle still kind of searching a little bit. It's running between like 850 and 900. But the air fuel ratio is perfect. Doesn't seem like it's running at as rich as it was. But I hopefully have that dialed in. Um, vacuum leak or vacuum again, exhaust leak still a little bit on the passenger side. It sounds like I'll have to address that. Probably one of the clamps between heating and cooling probably loosened up a little bit. So I'm going to check one of the exhaust clamps. But yeah, I think, uh, I think I really got her dialed in. I mean, obviously it's probably gonna take some more tinkering with it, but as of right now, I am pretty happy with the way she's running. I uh, appreciate you guys for watching. Hit that subscribe, hit the bell, and I'll see you on the next one.